Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we are solving the bi-weekly contest 44 and this is the problem number 3 of the contest. This was a tricky problem, so first I will upload the solution to this and then I will upload the solution to the second problem which was comparatively easier than this. So there's, an, there's a permutation of first and positive numbers where n is always odd. It was encoded into another integer array encode, which is of length n minus 1 such that encoded i is equal to perm i zor with perm i plus 1. For example, if this is the permutation array which is given to us, this is of uh, 1, 2 and 3, this is the permutation of 1, 2 and 3, then the encoded array is, the first element of this is the permutation of the first two elements, that is 1 and 3. Then the second element is the permutation of the second and the third element of perm. So, this is how we form the encoded array. Now we are given this encoded array and we have to return the original perm array. So for clarity let us look at the second example. We have 3 comma 1. This is the encoded array. For this the permutation array was this one. And it is always uh, given that the permutation array is going to be unique. So for the output if we take the Zora first and second element we will be getting 3 then second and third element will give us 1. Alright, so now let us see how we can solve this. There's some maths involved with this question. So you must be comfortable with the concept of ZOR. So for those who don't know about ZOR, let me just explain with the help of an example. So ZOR of 1 and 1 is 0. ZOR of 0 and 0 is 1. Sorry, ZOR of 0 and 0 is also 0. Now ZOR of 0 and 1 is 1 and ZOR of 1 and 0 is also 1. Basically if two bits are of different parity then the ZOR is 1. If two bits are of same parity then the ZOR is 0. So if we take the ZOR of two elements let us say 2 and 3. Let us first convert them to their binaries. So this is 1 0. The binary of 3 is 1 and 1. So if we take the ZOR of these two elements then by taking ZOR we mean taking the bitwise ZOR. So the ZOR of first bit will be taken, ZOR of 0 and 1, it will give us as both of these bits are of different parity then it will give us 1. Now ZOR of the first bit, I mean the second bit from the right side. So 1 ZOR with 1, they both are of same parity, it is going to give us 0. So ZOR of 2 and 3 is 0, 1. In the binary if we convert it into decimal it is going to give us 1. Similarly, ZOR of let's say 111. 111 is 7 and the other number is let us say 3. This is 3. So 7 ZOR 3. We are taking the bitwise ZOR. Same parity. It will give us 0. Then again the same parity. It is going to give us 0. Then the opposite parity. So it is going to give us 1. So this number is 4. ZOR of 7 and 3 is 4. So this way, the this is the concept of ZOR. Now after this, what we are given? We are given the encoded array and we have to find the permutation array. Now there's one more concept that should be cleared. So ZOR of 7 and 7. What will be the answer for this? Just try to think of this. So first of all let us convert them to their binaries. This is the binary of 7. This is the binary of 7. If we are taking the ZOR, the first bit is of same parity. It is going to give us 0. Second bit is of same parity. It's going to give us 0. Third bit is also of same parity. It is going to give us 0. So ZOR of 7 and 7 is 0. Similarly ZOR of 3 and 3 is also 0. ZOR of two same numbers is always 0. So this is the concept that we need to keep in mind while solving this problem. So let us say if we have this example 1, 2, 3, 2 and 3 again. If we are taking the ZOR of these elements, ZOR of 1 and 2, then their combined ZOR taking the ZOR with 3, then this combined ZOR take the ZOR with 2 and so on. So what will be the answer for this? So as we know that the 2 is going to cancel out 2, 3 is going to cancel out 3, the answer for this will be 1. So if we have some numbers, A0, A1, A2, and again if A0 is repeated, then if you have a1 the answer for this will be a2 because a2 uh, is occurring odd number of times it is only occurring once 
and A0 and A1 are occurring even number of times. So they will cancel out each other and only A2 will be remaining. This will be the answer. So if in a sequence, if we are taking the ZOR of that sequence and in that sequence, if the numbers are occurring even number of times. So it might be possible that A0 is occurring four, four number of times. So the one pair will cancel each other and the second pair will also cancel out each other. So that way, if a number is occurring even number of times, if we are taking the ZOR, then it is going to cancel out. And if a number is occurring odd number of times, let us say if this A2, if this A2 here, if instead of uh, occurring once, if it was occurring three times, that is A2, A2 and A2, then two A2s are going to cancel out each other and one A2 will remain. So if in a sequence, if we are taking the ZOR of that sequence and if a certain number is occurring even number of times, it is going to cancel out. And if a number is occurring odd number of times, it is going to remain. Okay. So now let us look at the example. Here is the example. This is 3 comma 1 and the sequence is 1, 2, 3 for this. We have 3 comma 1 and the sequence for this is 1, 2 and 3. Now we have to find this sequence. We are given this one. Now we are sure that the permutation which we have to return is it is of it is of odd size and it is given in the question that it is of odd size and the second thing is the numbers in this permutation are ranging from 1 to n plus 1 where n is the size of the given encoded array so if n is this is the, the size of this encoded array is 2 so the numbers are from 1 to 3 1 2 and 3 the answer will be the permutation of 1, 2 and 3. In this case, it is uh, these, the, the answer is same as 1, 2, 3, but it could be the permutation of 1, 2, 3 as well. All right, now we have to find this. So, so 1, 2 and 3. 3 is the permutation of 2 and 1. And permutation of 2 and 3 is 1. So the permutation of 1 and 2 it is giving us 3. The permutation of 2 and 3 it is giving us 1. Alright. So if we somehow find this 1, if we somehow manage to find this 1, then we can easily generate the rest of the sequence. How we can do that? So let us say if we somehow got to know that the first number is 1, then the second number, the second number can be uh, this can be find out by taking the ZOR of 1 with 3. If we are taking the ZOR of 1 with 3, so 3 is basically the ZOR of 1 and 2. 1, ZOR 2, this is 3. Now if we take the ZOR with 1, that is the first number, it is going to give us 2, which is the second number. Okay, so we got the second number. Now once we have the second number, we can generate the third number. How we can do that? We can use the second number and take the ZOR with this. So if we take the ZOR with this, 2 will cancel out 2 and 3 will be remaining. So 3 will be the third number. Alright, so our target is to find out the first number. If it is not clear, let me take the next example. Let me just copy this one. Okay. So here we have the output. This is the encoded array that is given to us. Now what I'm saying is if we somehow manage to find the first number that is 2. And we already know that 2 or 4 is the first number of encoded array that is 6. Then 4 4 or 1 is the second number of the encoded array that is 5. And uh, this is 1 or 5. 1 or 5 is the third number that is 4 and then 5 or 3. This is the last number that is 6. Now this we have. This is our encoded array and this is what we have. Now I am saying that if we somehow manage to find the first number that is 2, we can generate the rest of the numbers of the output. How we can do that? So the first number of the encoded array it is basically the ZOR of 2 and 4. Okay, it is the ZOR of 2 and 4. Now, if we take the ZOR of 2 and 4 with the first number, that is 2, then what will be remaining? 
सो टू जॉड विथ सिक्स और टू जॉड विथ टू जॉर फोर टू जॉर फोर एंड सिक्स इज सेम सो इफ यू आर टेकिंग दिस जॉड देन टू इज गोइंग टू कैंसल आउट टू एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस देन फोर विल बी रिमेनिंग एंड फोर इज द सेकेंड नंबर ऑफ द आउटपुट एरे सो वी गॉट फोर नाउ यूजिंग फोर दिस फोर वी कैन जनरेट द थर्ड नंबर हाउ वी कैन डू दैट सो वी नो दैट इन द एनकोडेड एरे द सेकेंड नंबर इज फाइव एंड इट इज द जोर ऑफ द सेकेंड नंबर ऑफ द आउटपुट द परम्यूटेशन एंड द थर्ड नंबर ऑफ द परम्यूटेशन एंड वी ऑलरेडी नो द सेकेंड नंबर सो वी कैन इजिली फाइंड द थर्ड थर्ड नंबर ऑफ द परम्यूटेशन बाई टेकिंग द जोर ऑफ फोर विथ फाइव सो फोर जोर फोर जोर वन दिस विल गिव अस वन फोर विल कैंसल आउट फोर इट विल गिव अस वन दैट इज द थर्ड नंबर नाउ इफ यू हैव द थर्ड नंबर वी कैन जनरेट द फोर्थ नंबर सो बेसिकली द जोर ऑफ वी ऑलरेडी नो द जोर ऑफ थर्ड नंबर एंड द फोर्थ नंबर सो इन द जोर ऑफ थर्ड नंबर एंड द फोर्थ नंबर इफ यू टेक अगेन द जोर ऑफ दिस विद इज विद द थर्ड नंबर इट इज ओनली गोइंग टू गिव अस द फोर्थ नंबर सो वन जोर वन जोर फाइव इट इज गोइंग टू गिव अस फाइव फाइव इज द थर्ड फोर्थ नंबर या सिमिलरली वी कैन जनरेट द लास्ट नंबर and the zor of 5 and 1 the zor of 4 and 1 the zor of 2 and 4 this we have in the encoded array all right now the thing that is remaining is to find the first number how we can find the first number that is 2 in this case and in the previous example it was 1 so we just have to find this number now to generate this number we what we can do is we can easily uh, hit and trial we can easily put the number 1 here then the number 2 then the number 3 and if it is satisfying if we If we generate all the numbers till the end using that number, we can return the answer. But then, this is going to take us. In the worst case, it is going to take big of n square time. And as the constraints which are given to us are high, 10 raised to the power 5, we can not do this in n square. So we have to optimize it. So we have to generate the first number in a constant time. Now, how can we do that? So for that, what we can do is. so here we have the sequence now we know that the numbers which are given to us it is the permutation of the numbers from 1 to n all right so here we have how many numbers 5 so we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay this is what we have now if we take the zor of all these numbers okay we can take the zor of all these numbers we know n we, we can take the zor of all these numbers we can uh, iterate it from i is equal to 1 till i is equal to n and then we can find the zor of all these numbers now let us look at the output array i mean the encoded array which is given to us let me name this as a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 1 2 3 4 5 so here we have five numbers So a zero is two, a one is four, uh, a two is one, a three is five, and a four is three. Now a zero, zor with a one, it is going to give us the e encoded zero, which is equal to six in this case. A of one, zor with a of two, it is going to give us e of one, and so on. Then A. Let me just write it down. A of two zor with a of three is going to give us e of three, and then one more that is a of three zor with a of four. It is going to give us e of four. Okay, this is what we have. Now, if I consider e of one, and then I consider e of four, and if I take the zor. so it will be a1 zor a2 zor a3 zor a4 all right so this will be the this will be equal to e1 zor e4 so we have this and what i told you initially we are taking the zor of 1 2 3 4 and 5 that is uh the zor of a0 a1 a2 a3 we are taking the zor of all these elements so basically the zor of all these elements we can easily take by iterating it from 1 till n that means we have the zor of a0 a1 a2 a3 and a4 
now this is what we have this is what we can attain by iterating and this is what we have if we take e1 and e4 we are taking the zor of e1 and e4 we are getting the a1 zor a2 zor a3 zor a4 now what is missing in these two sequence in these two zors what is missing the only difference is of a0 so if we take the zor of this part if we take the zor of this part with this part so this will be a0 zor a1 zor a2 zor a3 zor a4 so this covers this part and we are taking the zor with this one so this is zor with a1 zor with a2 zor with a3 and zor with a4 now what is going to get cancelled so a1 a1 is here a1 is here two times it is cancelled then a2 here and a2 again here two times a3 will cancel this a3 this a4 will cancel this a4 and what will be remaining the number that is remaining is a0 and a0 is the first number of output and that is what we want to find so we want to find the first number that is a0 and we can do this easily using this method so once we find a0 that is the first number we can generate the rest of the numbers using the encoded array which is given to us now let me just write just let let me just code what i just explained so this is the total zor this total zor is zero initially and i am going to iterate from i is equal to 1 i is smaller than equal to n i plus plus and total zor zor equal to i all right let me just take n as e dot size okay e dot size plus 1 okay for int i is equal to 1 i smaller than e dot size i plus equal to 2 so basically i'm taking the even indices i mean the odd indices which will give us uh, which will give us this e1 and e4 and so on so for that I am taking another variable this is the uh, let me just name it as x so x is equal to 0 this is what this is so let me just explain this is this part this part and our total zor is this part x zor equal to e of i now the first number the first number is x zor with the total zor this is the first number vector of int answer this will be of this will be of size n answer of 0 is equal to the first number now we have to generate rest of the numbers so for that for int i is equal to 1 i smaller than n i plus plus we are generating the ith number to generate the ith number we can take the zor of the previous number that is answer of i is equal to answer of i minus 1 zor with e of i minus 1 all right and finally return the answer let us see if this is working one two three let me just run it for other examples failed two four one five three two four one five three it is giving us correct answer let us submit it and it got accepted now talking about the space and the time complexity we have already discussed the time complexity this is big O of n so here it is big O of n here again it is big O of n here again again it is big O of n so the space complexity I think the extra space is used in creating this answer and it is big O of n and if we just ignore this then we are using constant extra space that is to generate this uh, total zor this x and then this first number so if we include the answer the time complexity the space complexity is also big O of n 
So this is it for the solution. If you want more such content in future, do subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you.